Now back to Prince George's County, where there's concern after staffing changes were announced for the Beltsville Volunteer Fire Station. Career firefighters are being moved out. News 4's Dominique Moody is joining us. And Dominique, it seems like people are mostly worried about those emergency response times. Yes, that's exactly right, Juliana. It was a packed house here last night here at the fat fire station. And we also know that many people wanted to show up because they wanted to find out why some of those fire and EMS resources are being temporarily relocated. In addition to that, many inside of the meeting last night said that the announcement came as a shock and say that they have concerns about future emergencies. So I want to get you caught up on what else we learned last night in the meeting. So Prince George's County Fire Chief Tiffany Green, she said that last month her office received a complaint from a career firefighter about unsafe working conditions here at the fire station. Now, Chief Green said an inspection revealed numerous health and safety concerns. The chief says the county has invested more than $260,000 in repairs to the building through the last several years, but more work is needed. At least 20 career firefighters, about five per shift, staff this station, and volunteer members are rotated in once a month. Now, those in the Beltsville community say they have concerns about response times. If fire and EMS resources are relocated, they also mention health and safety of the firefighters, volunteer firefighters as well, should always be a top priority. One of my primary responsibilities is to ensure, ensure the safety of our personnel. The job that our firefighters and paramedics, both career and volunteer, do is very dangerous. We do not do not want to see the career staff leave this station. But if it is, as we say, a health hazard or a life hazard, then everybody needs to go. And Juliana, I want to also mention that last night's meeting was the first opportunity for the public here to find out about those resources being temporarily relocated. And the hope from the community here is that there will be another public meeting so they can continue to learn about what's happening here inside this town. Back to you, Juliana. Yeah, they have some valid concerns. Thank you, Dominique.